Kenyatta. Turn this off, or well, we can see it here. This is the, the ArchiCAD mesh. Let's just look at that in 3D very quickly. So that's right click, show selection marquee. After we've selected it, so this is a site up in the mountains, so we can see that it's very tall. So what, why is it so tall? Because this is based on the Australian height datum. Um, this is the, a slice of earth, effectively, or a slice of Australia. You'll note that uh, this mesh has all these little lines at the moment. And so what that's doing is it's dividing or defining our site into triangles. Um, now we can also select this mesh, go into the settings and say all ridges smooth. So we can smooth that out and then the only lines that we see are the topography lines. So that might make it a little bit easier to, to read, to understand. Um, now what we're wanting to do is to take this information and turn this into some very simple 2D information and to put it on a title block so that we can um, use this to create a site analysis. So I've laid this out in a, an unusual way at the moment. I've already um, orientated it away from the way that the surveyor did and it's not quite facing north but north is mostly up the page. Why have I done it this way? On the right hand side of this project um, so the east of this project, this is actually a library and so I've orientated it to the same orientation as the library uh, but what I'm going to do in this case is rotate this around um, 90 degrees or thereabouts so that, um, so that we can get the site more flat and I'm going to do this by using a thick marquee so I'm going to go into my marquee tool and I'm going to choose the solid marquee or the, the thick marquee. I'm going to do a marquee over the whole area. The intention of this is that I'm going to get every story. I'll make it even bigger just to make sure I don't miss out on anything. So you can see I've already sort of drawn a bit on this project for you as a bit of a reference. And we're going to rotate this all in one go. It doesn't matter which story I use once I've done this thick marquee. A few things I just need to check. I need to make sure that I suspend all the groups. And I'm going to go into my layers, option element attributes, layers, and just make sure, sure that all layers are turned off. Because if there's any layers turned off or locked, so unlock and turn on, they're not going to rotate. They're not going to move. So we want to make sure that they're all ready to do in one go. Once we've done that, We've got that marquee around. Now we use this marquee to stretch, but we could also use this marquee to rotate every story. So edit, move, rotate. And I'm going to use this boundary here. I'm going to click the corner, click along the face, and then I'm going to rotate that down until that's flat. So that's just simplifying our site. We see that that's now on a strange angle to the library, but in terms of understanding the site, it's a lot simpler. Now if we go down to the AHD, we see that that's also adjusted the survey, but most importantly, north is still, it's not up the page, but it's still above zero. It's still above horizontal, and it, like I've talked about in other videos, north must be on the top half of the page. It doesn't have to be straight up the page because generally we we'll want to stick with a, a landscape orientation for the site or a landscape orientation for the building, uh, but we still want north to be up the page rather than down the page. Now I've also already drawn in some section and elevations. I'm just going to move these away for the time being just so we can see them. Sorry, I just missed one. Let's grab that one as well. Move, drag, we'll move those away. And we can see that they're currently on a strange orientation because that was based on our last one. Of course, these should be straight as well. So I'll just do what I did before, just the other way around in this case. So click this one, click there, turn it around so it's straight. Now we could orientate these in different directions. So we see we've got a lot of sections and we've got a couple of elevations. Um, and from what we've got here, we'll, we'll change these. So let's just move these back to where they were. So east, we see that this actually isn't east, is it? It's if we um, let's just copy our 
north point just for a second. So I'm just going to draw a line and another little line just to show an arrow. Cut that. Let's place this up onto our lower ground. Paste. So that's what, that way is north. So this is basically our north orientation. So we could change this in north. And then I could copy this around. I have another one here, but I can just delete that and we can start again. So rather than starting from scratch, of course, we can see that these have been customized. They have some different settings on here, different slight marker, a name and description. I'm going to pick up the settings, pressing Alt to pick up the settings, and I'm going to draw another one. And this time I'll call that E and East. So if that was north, then this one here is east. I'm going to drag across the whole site, holding shift to make sure it's straight. I want to make sure I'm past the page, and then I need to, or sorry, past the edge of the site, and then choose which direction I'm looking, looking into the site. And let's continue all the way around. I can now say S and south. Do the same thing. Move in the right direction, hold shift, click, choose that orientation, click. Now these could of course go inside of our site. At the moment we'll just put them on the outside of the site and then we can change that later if we want. Let's change that to now W and West. And I've already got a lot of sections here. I might just, um, again, we'll just grab number one. Let's pick up the settings of that and then we'll delete all of those. And now we'll just go back to that section marker tool. Our section marker tool, sorry. And I'm just going to draw a, a section right through the middle of the site. And in this case, we'll just look up or looking towards our western boundary. And what we can do with this information, we're going to now save this as a save view as a site plan. And we're going to save this as a section and we're going to place this onto a layout. Uh, in the, we'll do that in the next video. This video has gone long enough and we'll have a look at just adjusting the layout and the title block to suit um, this project so we could print it out and use this for our preliminary site analysis. So in the next video we'll have a look at how to do that.